Hello everyone and welcome back to Villainous. Today we are playing Cruella de Vil. Uh, we have the fate card or the fate deck shuffled, the villain deck shuffled. We have 20 rounds to win and uh, let's get started by drawing four cards. Well right off the bat we have Horus which is a really important card for Cruella. He is an ally, costs two to play, has three strength. If you activate him, we can either capture one puppy at his location or choose one puppy token from the supply and add it to the specified location. Okay. We also have Cruel. It's a condition card. Uh, during their turn, if another player moves an ally or item, you may play Cruel. Choose one puppy token from the supply and add it to the specified location. The way I play condition cards in solo mode is if uh, I meet the condition, I can play the card for free. So, for example, if I move an ally or item card, I can play this card for free. Uh, you idiots! It's an effect card, costs one to play. Either move an ally to your location, or choose an ally from your deck, or discard pile and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. And get the job done, perform and activate action. Okay, great. So, uh, why don't we start by going to the countryside, uh, we'll collect three power, and we're going to spend, uh, oops, and we'll spend two power to play Horus, uh, and we'll play Horus at the countryside. Uh, let's see, how much is, so, cost one to play that card. We can play two cards at this location, so we will play, um get the job done to perform an activate action and we will activate Horus uh, and uh, we will we can't capture one puppy at this location because there's no puppies so we can choose one puppy token from the supply and add it to the specified location here are the puppy tokens I already shuffled them I'll just select them from the top down it is uh, 22 puppies at the Radcliffe house which is over here uh, I can also move a card while at this location, so I'm going to move Horus to the Radcliffe house. Let me just move everything up a little bit. There we go. For the camera. For you guys. There. Okay, so uh, that's it. I'm going to end my turn, go down around 19. I'm going to draw two cards, get back up to four. Let's see what they are. Uh, flashlight, it's a item card, costs one to play, you have to activate it, and if you do, choose a puppy token from the supply and add it to the specified location. Well, that's pretty good. And uh, whatever it takes. On this turn, you may perform one action that is covered by a hero at your location. That's pretty good, too. Okay. Oh, and we could do this one, I forgot. So we moved an ally. Uh, we can choose one puppy token from the supply and add it to the specified location. So let's do that. 11 at Hell Hall. Uh, so we would have drawn three cards then. So let's draw back. Let's keep drawing up to four because we would have done that on our turn. Another whatever it takes. And again, that is uh, I may perform one action that is covered by a hero at the locations. And I have two of those. There. Okay. So now let's see if we get faded. In solo mode, I roll a 10 sided die. And on a 1, 2, 3, or 4, I uh, fate myself by drawing two cards from there, picking the worst one for me. Um, so let's see if we get faded. On a 1, 2, 3, or 4. 8, we do not. Alright, let's uh, continue our turn. So I think what we'll want to do is uh, we'll go here. We're going to activate Horus to capture one puppy token at his location, so we have 22 out of our 99. Forgot to say, um, so win as Cruella de Vil, we have the starter turn with at least 99 captured puppies. We have 22 out of 99 so far. We have 11 over here that we gotta get. Um, I can collect one power while at that location. And, uh, I can discard, um, well, let's play a card first. I'm going to play, I'm going to spend one to play a uh, flashlight. And I'll put it, uh, doesn't matter where I put it, I guess. Actually, it kind of does. 
Um, I'll put it there. And, um, so I, ew, and I can't, oh no, I already activated him, so I can't activate it now. Uh, let's see, anything else that I want to do? I don't need to move anything, or, or do I want to discard? Uh, I'll discard one of these. Okay, so I discarded, gained a power, played a card, uh, activated, don't want to move anything, so we'll end that turn there. We'll draw, we'll go down around 18, draw two cards to get back to f up to four. I live for furs. It's an effect card, costs zero to play, gain one power for each location in your realm that has at least one puppy token. Okay. And here, puppies, uh, an effect card costs one to play. Choose a puppy token from the supply and add it to the specified location. All right. Not bad. So uh, let's see if we get faded on a one, two, three, or four. Six. We do not. Okay. So we're... Okay, so why don't we go here? We're gonna gain three power. Uh, let's spend one to play here, puppies. Uh, so choose a puppy token from the supply and add it to the specified location. Uh, at the countryside, so that's here. Um, let's see. Okay, so I did that. Let's see. One preference. Oh, we can do this. So let's let's do this one because we have two out. So we're gonna uh, and we can play two cards at that location. So we're gonna play. Uh, I live for furs. Gain one power for each location in my realm that has at least one puppy token. It's gonna be two power. Okay. So we play two cards. We can't play any more cards. We can move. So we're gonna move him over here. So that he can capture the puppies uh, in the next turn. So let's see. Okay, so we'll stop there. Uh, let's uh, draw, we'll move down around 17. Draw two cards, get back up to four. So cruel, that's the condition card uh, that if I, uh, if I, since it were in solo mode, uh, move an ally or item. We may play Cruel. Choose one puppy token from the supply and add it to the specified location. And uh, perform an activate action. Not bad. I will take it. So let's see. We got faded. One, two, three, or four. Seven. We do not. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll go over here. We're going to uh, gain one power. Uh, we're going to, um, let's see. Right, right, okay. So let's, uh, we're going to activate Horus. So we're doing the activate action. Going to activate Horus to capture a puppy at his location, puppy token. So now we have 33 out of 99, one third there. And um, let's, uh, let's see, we haven't played anything. Um, why don't we spend one power to, uh, perform an activate action, another activate action. So we will do, uh, the flashlight to choose a puppy token from the supply and add it to the specified location. The milk farm, 11 at the milk farm. Okay. So we activated, we played a card, gained a power, we can discard if we want... I'm not going to discard anything, but I'm going to move my ally and trigger the condition card. So I'm going to move Horus <clears throat> to the milk farm, which will trigger this. So I can choose one puppy token from the supply and add it to the specified location. Uh, 22 at the countryside. Okay, so that's it for that turn. Let's uh, move down round 16. Uh, we'll draw uh, two cards to get back up to four. So, one, two, let's see what they are. Uh, you idiots, 
uh, either move an ally to your location or choose an ally from your deck or discard pile and put them into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Or I live for furs, uh, or not war, and I live for furs, gain one power for each location in your realm that has at least one puppy token. Which is three right now, so that would be good to gain some power next turn. So we'll end that turn there. Let's see if we get faded on a one, two, three, or four. Seven, we do not. <clears throat> okay, so I think what we'll do is go here so we can activate again. Um, but before we do that, we're going to play this. Uh, I live for furs. We're going to gain one power for each location in our realm that has at least one puppy token. So we're going to gain three power. Now we're going to activate Horus to capture the uh, milk farm puppies. So now we have 44 out of 99. And uh, let's see, we, can, we can't we um, can vanquish anyone, there's no heroes. There's a fate icon here though. So in solo mode, when there's a fate icon, I reduce the chance of me being fated by half. So now, when I roll the fate die, when I'm at that location, I'm only going to fate myself on a 1 or 2 out of 10, instead of a 1, 2, 3, or 4. So let's end that turn there. Go down around uh, 15. Draw one card to get back up to four. That Devil Woman, it's an effect card, costs one to play. Move a hero to any location. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. Okay, now let's see if we get faded on a one or two out of ten. One, we're gonna get faded. <clears throat> so the first option, uh, we're Labradors. Uh, remove up to two puppy tokens from one location and return them face up to the supply. Or, flew the coop. Uh, it's an effect card. Choose one captured puppy token and return it face up to the supply. That might be more... Uh, that might be worse for us. Yeah, that is worse for us, actually. So we'll do that one. We're going to return the... Uh, let me just fix this. The 22 to the supply. And it stays face up, according to the uh, rule book or her pamphlet, uh, it stays face up. So I can choose that one if I want to put it in the realm when I have the option to, or I can choose a face down uh, puppy token. Okay, let's continue. So we have plenty of power, so I don't think we need to go here unless we want to play a bunch of cards, but I think we're safe in going here. We're going to move Horus. We don't have that condition card, so it doesn't. We don't get that to do that bonus thing, but uh, we're going to activate him to capture these twenty-two puppies. Um, we can. Uh, did I gain that power? We'll just say it because I have plenty of power. Uh, we can play a card. So let's see. I'm going to discard that. If it needed to use it, um, let's see. Uh, I'll hold on to you idiots. Might as well play uh, that devil woman. So we'll pay one uh, to move Horus to Hell Hall to get that uh, puppy's next turn. Okay, so we discarded, we played a card, gained a power, we activated, and we moved. So that's it for that turn. Let's go down around 14. Uh, draw two cards, get back up to four. Here, puppies. It's uh, an effect card, costs one to play. Choose a puppy token from the supply and add it to the specified location. Spotted, reveal up to two puppy tokens in the supply. Uh, costs one to play, it's an effect card. All right, let's see if we get faded on a 1, 2, 3, or 4 out of 10. 1, we get faded. I guess I forgot to do that when I was here. Or was I there? I can't remember if I went there. Okay, two heroes to choose from. Uh, Sergeant Tibbs, he's a hero card, costs 3 to play. When 
Sergeant Tibbs is played, you may move up to two puppy tokens in Cruella DeVille's realm to his location. Hmm. And the nanny, the cost to activate allies and items at this location is increased by one power. Huh, but only affects one location. Well, that's interesting. Um, hmm. What would be worse? I mean, this would kind of consolidate, the, and it's only one out there. Uh, I, I feel like this one would be more of a long-lasting nuisance. And well, so we'll put it here. No, wait a minute. Maybe here. Oh, no. I think we'll want to put it here. To make that cost more and to prevent me from activating in the future. So I have to defeat her or vanquish her to get rid of that nuisance and to be able to activate again. So, okay, that's it for that turn, um, or that fading. So let's see what we want to do. Let's go over here. Um, we want to activate Horus, and it's going to cost us now, because of the nanny, it costs us one power to do that. So we get that one, so we have now... 22, 33, 44, 55 out of 99. Um, so we activated. Let's see. Do we want to? Let's do. We're going to spend one power to play here puppies. Choose a puppy token from the supply and add it to the specified location. Bring this to the Radcliffe house. Okay, um, so now, hmm, oh, well, we'll have to, we'll have to plan, because now I want to bring him over here, he's so far away, I can do this, but it's going to take me a couple turns, so, uh, let's end that turn there, um, we're not going to vanquish her, because we want to keep Horus, uh, although we can, hang on a second, we can use this to get him back. So let's do that. We're going to vanquish the nanny. And we'll use this later to get her back. Or to get him, to get Horace back. Um, but for now, let's uh, see if we get uh, faded. So we reduce the chances of being faded to now a 1 or a 2. So we move down to round 13. Uh, let's draw one card to get back up to 4. Uh, the devil take it. Uh, it's an effect card, costs one to play. Choose an item or effect from your discard pile and put it into your hand. Huh, okay. Let's see if we get faded. A three, we do not, because we're at this loca with the location with that symbol. Okay. Now, I want to go here. Gain three power. I want to play... I want to spend one power to play you idiots to choose an ally from uh, my discard pile and put it into my hand, then shuffle my deck. I don't think I need to shuffle the deck because I'm not going through there. I think that only applies if you're going through the deck to find him. So get him. I'm going to play him by spending two, putting him at the Radcliffe house. So that's I moved him from there to there by basically vanquishing and bringing him back. Um... I can move him. I don't need to. I don't need to move that either. And I already played two cards, so I'll end it there. Move down around 12. Gain one card to get back up to four. Uh, Jasper, great. Uh, he's our one other ally. He, we only have two allies in the whole deck. He's our other one, Jasper and Horus. So this is Jasper. Uh, he is ally card, has four strength, costs three to play. If we activate him, we have to spend one power. But we capture up to two puppy tokens at his location. It's a little bit more situational. I think Horus is the better card. But, uh, okay, so now let's see if we get faded on a 1, 2, 3, or 4 out of 10. Whoa. It is a... Here, I'll put it in the camera so you don't know. <laughs> there we go. 7 out of 10. So we do not get faded. Okay. 
So, uh, not, I'm not too much in a rush to get Jasper out. Um, let's see. So, why don't we go... Um, we can do more if we go over here. So, let's go over here. We'll gain one power. We're going to... Um, let's spend that one power to play Spotted. Reveal up to two puppy tokens from the supply. So, 11 at the countryside, and 22 at the milk farm. Okay, so we're at 55, that would get us to 77, that would get us to 88, and we need that for sure. So we're going to activate, uh, let me see, so we're going to activate Horus to capture this. So now we're at, uh, what is it, 77? That's 44... 55, 66, 77. Okay. Um, but we can't play another card. So why don't we... We'll move him, though, to the countryside. We're moving him. Um, and we can discard if we want. I think we'll hold on to all three of these. Um, so let's end that turn there. Uh, move down around 11. Uh, draw one card, get back up to four. The double ticket, so we have two of those now. And that's the one, it's a, an effect card, costs one to play, choose an item or effect from your discard pile and put it into your hand. Okay, so that's it for that. Let's see if we get faded. Four, we get faded. All right, we're Labradors. Uh, remove up to two puppy tokens from one location and return them face up to the supply. There are no puppies at any location, so probably not going to play that. Twilight Bark. Choose and play a hero from uh, Corolla Deville's Fate discard pile. Uh, really, the only one that would affect anything is the Nanny. Um, and we'll put her... I guess we'll put her... Uh, here, let me move that up here there to or no this is probably the best one to put her at to block activate and a move and there's no one there to vanquish her right now so we'll put that there um okay now let's see what we want to do um all right we want to go here we want to choose a puppy token from the supply and add it to the specified location so we'll move this one here. Uh, we can play a card. Um, do we want to play Jasper? I think we want to do use the Devil Takes It to get some more puppies out here. So let's reveal. I think that's what we want. We want this. So why don't we spend one power to play the devil take it to add this effect card to our hand um we can't vanquish her uh so now let's see if we get faded we can't draw any cards because we're at four so we're gonna move down around 10 let's see if we get faded on a one or a two because we're at location with that symbol so on a one or a two out of ten two we're gonna get faded Reckless Driving, discard an item from Corolla Deville's Realm. That would hurt us because uh, that's that's a really helpful card. Um, when Colonel is played, you may move a hero to any location. I think we'll, we'll play Reckless Driving to discard this item because it's a really good one for us. Okay. Um, so that's it for that. So let's go, oh, the nanny's blocking our, what we want to do. Um, I think we need to get Jasper out there and remove her. So let's go there. We'll gain uh, three power. Oops. Is that, yeah, that should be three. Uh, and you know, we're going to spend that three power to uh, play Jasper there um we can play another card 
um, we'll play, uh, we'll spend one power to play here puppies to choose a puppy token from the uh, supply and add it to the specified location. And we can move, but we don't want to because we're going to want Jasper to vanquish and we'll want Horace to capture. Well, actually, let's move here so Horace can capture that one first because that's the more important one. Uh, that might get us to where we need to be, right? We, we have 44, 55, 66, 77, 88, 99. Yeah, that'll let us win if we can get that one. So uh, so let's end that turn there. Uh, we'll draw two. We'll move down around nine. Uh, draw two cards to get us back to four. Move a hero to any location. Cost one to play, an effect card. That devil woman. Ooh, this is good. We wanted this uh, uh, item card. Cost one to play. The fireplace poker. When fireplace poker is played, attach it to an ally. That ally gets plus one strength. When that ally would be discarded, discard this item instead. We want to put that on Jasper so that he can vanquish the nanny and not get discarded. Let me discard that. All right, so let's see if we get faded on a one, two, three, or four. Five, we do not. Okay. So really, the uh, right now, the most important thing is to go here. Activate Horus to gain that. So we don't automatically win. We have to uh, start our turn with 99 captured puppies. So we have 22, 44, 66, 77, 88, 99. We have 99, but we have to start our turn. So at the start of the next turn... If we still have that many, we'll win. But we'll see if the fate um, messes that up for us. Uh, in the meantime, let's uh, we can play a card. So all we did was activate it. We're going to play a card, spend one to put the fireplace poker on Jasper. We're going to now vanquish the nanny and have to discard that. So we keep Jasper. Uh, and now we just... Uh, we have the fate symbol there, so we'll actually let's go down around eight, draw one card to get back up to four. The Roadster, it's a good card. Uh, it's an item card, costs one to play. When Roadster, is, so you would play it at a location. When Roadster is moved, you may move it to any location. You may move up to two puppy tokens from Roadster's previous location to its new location. So that's a way to move the puppy tokens around the board without having to move Jasper and Horus, because they can only move one space at a time. So if, let's say, the Roadster is over here, we got tokens over here, we can move them all to where one of these guys are. Move up, or move two of them over to where these guys are. But, uh, alright, so let's, uh, let's see if we get faded. Actually, we're going to automatically fade ourselves, because we're at our win condition. And it's the tradition on this channel to automatically fade ourselves if we're at our win condition to see if we would be prevented from winning. So let's automatically fade ourselves and see if that would prevent us from winning. Uh, Reckless Driving, discard an item from Corilla Deville's Realm. We have no items that would not prevent us from winning. Choose one capture puppy token and return it face up to the supply. That would prevent us from winning. So what we'll do is choose one of these. So the Milk Farm is there, Radcliffe House is here, Countryside is here. Worst one for us is the Radcliffe House because that's farthest away from our allies. So that has prevented us from winning. All right, let's continue. Okay, so I think what we'll want to do is go here, uh, gain one power. Let's see, so what we want is we need to get that back out. Um, so what we'll do is we'll activate... Uh, we're going to activate Horus. So we're activating Horus. He's going to put this back out here. And now we're going to play a card. Spend one power to move a hero to any location. Moving him to the Radcliffe house. And uh, let's see. Uh, we don't want to discard anything. We can move something if we want. Let's move Jasper. Actually, let's keep Jasper there in case we need to defeat a hero here. Um, 
So, okay, we'll end that there. So let's move down around seven. We'll draw a uh, one card to get back up to four. Oh, wait. Yeah, because we only have three. Okay. Uh, telephone, it's an item card. Costs one to play. If we activate it and pay one power, we can choose an ally from our discard pile and play them to any location for free. Oh, that's pretty good. So that's if we get one, uh, one of these gets lost or defeated or whatever. All right, let's see if we get faded. We're not going to automatically fade ourselves because we're not at our win condition anymore. So let's see if we get faded by rolling the dice. Two, we're going to get faded. Twilight Bark and Perdita. I have a feeling Perdita is going to be worse for us, but let's see. Twilight Bark, choose a uh, choose and play a hero from Cruella Deville's Fate discarded pile. So there's only two in there, I think. Oh wait, no, there's a isn't there another one now? We have the nanny. Colonel, what, what does he do again? Move a hero to any location. No other heroes, so that wouldn't really help. And Tibbs. That wouldn't that would be better. That like this would benefit us. So not really sure. So let's see. So the so it's between basically it's between Nanny. And uh, Perdita. Perdita, a hero, four strength. When Perdita is played, you may choose one captured puppy token and add it to her location. That would be worse for us, so let's do that. Um, we'll play her here, because that's away from both allies and away from the other two. Uh, and we'll put the milk farm one there, because why not? Okay, so now we're getting a little bit more desperate. So let's see what we want to do. Well, we definitely want to capture stuff. And in order to do that, we need to be at a place that we can activate. So let's go here. We'll activate um, Horus to capture these 22 puppies. Um, we can play a card. Um, why don't we play... Uh, We don't need to play the Roadster. You know, we don't need to play any of these at the moment. So why don't we just hold back? Uh, we can't vanquish. Uh, let's see if we get... Well, let's move down around six. Can't draw any cards. But let's see if we get faded on a one or a two. Five, we do not. Okay. Now we're going to go here. We're going to move... Uh, we're going to gain one power. We're going to move Jasper. We're going to activate Jasper, have to pay one power to activate him, to capture a puppy token. So now we're at our win condition again. We have 99. Um, we can play a card if we want. I don't think we will. We're not going to discard either. Um, so let's uh, move down around five. We have four cards, so we can't draw any. And uh, we're going to automatically fade ourselves. Not going to roll the fate die. We're going to automatically fade ourselves because we're at our win condition again. So let's see. Uh-oh. Okay, let's see. I think I think we might have it. So Captain, he is a hero, ca uh, has three power. When Captain is played, you may move an ally from his location to an adjacent location. Okay, that would not prevent us from winning. And Pongo, uh, he has uh, four strength, a uh, hero. Uh, puppy tokens cannot be captured at his location. So even if we played both, put them here, and if we put them here to move this guy over here, we would not be prevented from winning. Uh, we can start our turn now. We have 22, 44, 66, 77, 88, 99 puppies at the start of our turn. So there you have it. We have one as Corella DeVille. And uh, now it is time to recite the litany of the meme. The night is dark and full of terror, but I know that we will live long and prosper, for the force will be with us always against the forces of he who must not be named. As we remember to keep it secret, keep it safe, until the day we assemble in the name of Muad'Dib. So, say we all!